Welcome to the Tech Talk Show. There are over 1.8 billion websites on the World Wide Web. Every day, millions of new websites are added to intensify the competition. Since the commercialization of the web, web development has been a growing industry. The growth of this industry is being driven by businesses wishing to use their website to advertise and sell products and services to customers. In such a massive and cutthroat competition, it becomes crucial for businesses not only to have an online presence, but also to stand out among countless websites in order to attract potential customers and clients. Web developers are the people who make the internet work. Web developers do important work and the internet wouldn't work as well without them. This makes web development perfect for people looking for rewarding challenges, opportunities and a career path that is expected to grow a lot in the coming decade. Web developer jobs are expected to grow by more than 20% between now and 2022, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now it's great time to pursue your career in web development. Today with us, we have Ms. Nidhi Goyal, Assistant Professor. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you so much. Today, we will ask her the questions related to web technologies, career opportunities for the student in web development, scope and future of web developers and so on. Our first question for you, ma'am. What is web development and what all areas are covered in web development? Okay, so uh, web development is nothing but we are creating a website to interact uh, uh, to with the uh, users uh, and it's all deployed in the internet. So whatever we see in the internet, uh, be, uh, be it the shopping website, be it the uh, information website, complete all the things, it's all the websites which is, is there in the internet, it's web development. So uh, as for the areas covered in the web development, the areas are like we have the web designing the another part, we have the database handling other part and the UI part is uh, another thing and for this we have the different different languages over there. So students can be, uh, can take the career in all the areas and wherever he is interested. So if a student want to learn web development, what all languages should they opt for? So uh, as far the uh, languages is concerned, it's actually now the area, uh, now the, this field is becoming so vast. Now everyone is going for the PW, that is your progressive web uh, apps. So here actually uh, it's all uh, the, the big, big giants like Alibaba, be, be, be it uh, Twitter, they all are going for PWA. So it's like the offline websites, like for, for example, it can load very quickly. So for that, the Angular JS we have, we have a mean stack, we, uh, we have the complete uh, different, different database so that the um, loading of the page can be minimized. And uh, we have the Polymer also we have so these are the languages which uh, which students should learn now nowadays so that they can make career in them so we have also the basic languages for that we we need to do the Java, javascript as well and the very very basic just to start we have the html for that so student used to learn from the very basic that is the html then javascript then go for this mean stack and all that stuff there are so many buzzwords prevailing in the market like machine learning, artificial intelligence, blockchain, etc. which makes it hard for a student to choose any specific area for their career. What do you suggest for the students? Okay, uh, yes, machine learning, artificial intelligence and blockchain are uh, buzzwords these days. See, in machine learning, uh, we need to train the machines using the Python. So before, uh, for that, we need to learn the Python. And uh, in terms, of, uh, if I talk about the blockchain, the blockchain, yes, we need to learn about the language called Solidity. So for that, you need uh, a network build up, which is in parity. So it's, it's, it's like all encapsulated in uh, web development. So for that, for machine learning, machine learning and blockchain, you know, you should know the basic first. So starting from that, starting from the basic, you should learn the, uh, how to develop the website. For that, you need to learn the HTML. You need to learn about the CSS for the UI, for the user interface. And for that, you need to learn the JavaScript so that, uh, you need to learn the, uh, 
chat so that you can uh, without overloading the pages you can get in uh, same page only so yes in terms of the career yes you need to start from the uh, very basic so that you can reach to the higher so many students get confused among frameworks will you help the student to understand frameworks yeah frameworks frameworks are uh, basically um, see uh, we, we need to write the script for web development so we have different frameworks for for example we have php language so php is a scripting language for that we have the frameworks like php designer and so on so on so on so ex uh, for example in java we have the netbeans netbeans we have the eclipse it, these are all the frameworks so for different languages we have the different frameworks when should a student start learning web development See, uh, there is a myth that only the CS and IT students can do the web development. So uh, it's not like that. It's totally not li like that. Even the even the student who is from civil department, even uh, he's from EC department, doesn't matter. Even the degrees also don't matter. After the twelfth, you can start your web development process. It's it's like it's a open source. Every uh, internet has everything, every information over there. You can start learning from uh, internet. So there there is not uh, like that. Ki if you are in third year, if you are in second year, or if you are in fourth year, then only you can start web development or understanding the things. So it's a bit clear that after the twelfth, also even student who is in tenth, also you can start the process of web development. So what are the sources of learning web development? There are a lot of sources uh, over the internet. There are many platforms uh, like we have Udemy, we have Coursera. So they are providing the courses to the students and they are not much uh, of cost. I think there uh, should not be like 2000 bucks, I guess. So uh, students can afford also and we have, uh, they are providing the discount also. So there are sources where uh, students can learn web development very easily. And for the basic, we have W3 schools. They're the best source for the HTML and other things. We have Java T point also. And even if a student want to learn web development, the project making by his or herself is the best. So what are the advanced web development tools Tools we have uh, Sublime, we have uh, PHP Designer, we have uh, Notepad Plus Plus, and uh, for apps for uh, Android we have Android Studio, for uh, iOS we have Xcode. So it's depend. We are making the web apps, we may we are making mobile apps, or we are, we are making the iOS app. It's all depends uh, what development we want, and according to have we have different tools for that. What are the general mistakes that students commit while learning web development? Okay, the another mistake a student used to do is while creating the website. For every page, they need uh, they write header, uh, they write footer for every page. So uh, that mistake should not be there. You should make header a different file footer a different file and encapsulate where, wherever you need that header wherever you need the footer so this will obviously optimize your code also rewriting of the code you will not write again and again the same code and also the css files and your javascript file you don't write to write again and again the same thing in every page just encapsulate the same file everywhere whenever you need what are the skills and prerequisites to make a career in web development sector? Students should start from very basic, like from the HTML, in terms of web development, I'm just uh, saying, um, for the HTML, then CSS, then uh, JavaScript, then go for the different languages, either go for AngularJS, either go for Node.js, and yes, certification of these uh, will definitely give an add-on to your resume for your careers. So, for certification, we have Udemy, as I already discussed, we have uh, different different platforms which are giving you a certifications. What are the career opportunities in this sector? See, uh, career opportunities, a uh, student can go for different different fields in this. He can opt for analyst, he can uh, go uh, for UI designer, he can you can go make a career in uh, database handling, either cyber security or uh, networking. There are different, different fields. Then it is like a hub 
of a different field. So it's open to every field in IT sector. Is there any scope for entrepreneurship in this sector? So why not? Uh, there are many big, big companies who are totally dependent on web development. Like we have Google, we have Amazon, we have Snapdeal, we have Flipkart. Uh, so they're making a big, big profit over there. So yes, a student can uh, be a businessman. He can make his own startup. He can build his own startup. And uh, uh, after 10 years, he will be like uh, on the top of the world. Thanks a lot, man. I hope this student must have got to learn a lot of new things that would surely help them in choosing their career path and the show must have answered many of their questions related to the web development and career. Now for the students, if you still have any question, you can write the question in the comment box, we would surely connect to you.